This past weekend, I had the chance to watch the new movie, Big George Foreman. I'm a big boxing fan, if you don't know already, post a lot of boxing on this channel, and George Foreman is probably my favorite retired boxer of all time. I've been a huge boxing fan for the past three years, and when I first got into boxing, George Foreman was actually one of the first boxers I started watching, started getting to learn. I remember seeing a video of him and Max Kellerman doing an interview on YouTube. I just like loved the guy, his story, the way he came back after like a 10 year uh, hiatus and ended up being a world champion again. It was an amazing story of George Foreman. That's why, of course, they deserved the movie. It came out April 28th, directed by George Tillman Jr., distributed by Sony Pictures Releasing, had a budget of 32 million. Kind of surprising to me. Based off Google users, I like to have, I like to use, because compared to Rotten Tomatoes, which is starting to like become, I don't know, I don't really trust Rotten Tomatoes, they say the critics, but it's all about what the audience wants. Who cares about critics? I really never cared about critics. It's all about what the audience wants. Based off, Google users, 94% like this movie, and I could definitely give a thumbs up on that. Chris Davis played George Foreman. He did an amazing job, not only as a young George Foreman, but also as an older guy, put on a lot of weight, did a very, very good job. Now, was it actual weight or was it like CGI or whatever? Either way, he did a very good job playing that. Jasmine Matthews played Mary Joanne. Sullivan Jones played Muhammad Ali, which, I mean, listen, Muhammad Ali, you got to be good. It, it, nobody could be exactly Muhammad Ali, right? I know Will Smith played him in the Ali movie. He did obviously a better job since the main focus of the movie was Muhammad Ali. But Sullivan Jones, I feel like the attitude and like the way he talked was like Muhammad Ali. Didn't really so much look like Muhammad Ali, but hey, still did a very good job. Then Forrest Whitaker played as Doc Brodus, the coach, obviously Forrest Whitaker, one of the best actors from this era. So I really like this movie, like I said, I have to give it an eight and a half out of 10. I liked how the film just showed him as a young kid, okay, all the troubles he went through growing up, had a lot of anger inside him, needed to find a way, joined the job corps, ended up being a great decision for him because of course he was mentored by his coach. Learned boxing, never did it before. Obviously showing the power. They showed a, a clip of him hitting the heavy bag right off the chains, which I don't think is really possible, but hey, who knows, I wasn't there, right? And just all that potential that he had. Winning a gold medal a year after he started training. That's what it was in the movie. That actually happened though. I didn't really read up on that of George Foreman's real life. If he actually won the gold medal after one year of training, either way, that's very, very impressive. And then just showing the way through his life. Okay, I, I like biography type movies, especially boxers. I love boxers. Um, I like watching Raging Bull, Ali, okay, right? Cinderella Man. I like watching just fighters, like of real guys, I should say. But, um, you know, not only their life inside the ring, but outside the ring. We saw him lose his money, okay? That's why he had to decide to go to just, he got a calling from God, right? And it seemed like, and he just retired. And, um, you know, eventually that money ran out and he needed to go back to boxing. So to get the money, it showed really the type of change that a guy like George Foreman could have, right? Growing up very angry, you know, committing crimes, right? And then going to boxing, retiring, putting a lot of money into the youth, into his community, ran out of money. So he still wanted to get that youth center up and, up and going, decided to come back to boxing and won a championship at the age of like 40 something, oldest heavyweight champion. Right, it's so impressive that this actually happened in real life. This is like a, a basically a, a fiction story, it seemed like his actual story, but no, it happened in real life. And I thought it was just played very, very good. Um, the boxing skills were actually pretty good. I'll, I'll admit, it really seemed legit. I mean, you compare them to like Rocky movies, not saying Rocky, I'm not saying Big George Foreman movies better than Rocky, but actually boxing skills, it looked like they were landing, you know, and the punches didn't seem too fake, which I very, I really liked. I really liked the film was good. It made you ha feel happy leaving out of the theater, right? It wasn't like sad. It wasn't, it made you feel happy. So definitely a good film. I recommend you guys go see it, right? And it's not really spoiling because this is literally a biography. It literally happened in your real, li real life, but trust me, uh, I, I just, I think you guys, I recommend you go to go see it in theaters. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think down below. Did you watch the movie? Are you excited to watch the movie? Have you, you know, are a fan of George Foreman? Come on guys, peace.